I'm already enjoying this far much more because, as I said before, it's so slow. It's just really, really nice. <laughs> We're going 170. Yeah, it's still like... <laughs> that's the approach speed of the planes I fly now, so... That's the approach speed of a Cirrus, too. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Hey guys, I'm Brian, and today we're going to answer the question, can a commercial pilot, or more specifically a jumbo jet pilot, fly a normal, smaller, general aviation plane like these planes you see behind me? Um, so what it is is my friend, uh, Captain Joe, you may know him from his YouTube channel, uh, was coming into Dallas, uh, and he called me up and he said this. Brian, my boy, it's Joe. I was just going to, wanting to quickly let you know that I am coming to Dallas, funny enough, tomorrow. Let's uh, do some little flying. It will be tons of fun to do that again. Um, yeah, hook me up. So Joe was planning to come to Texas, and while he was here, he was going to film a video about why passengers enter large aircraft from the left side. So I thought I would take this opportunity to go flying with Joe and see how a jumbo jet pilot does piloting one of these smaller general aviation aircraft like I fly. So we're going to get that question answered. We're also going to answer the question, can Brian manage to save a video in spite of a flight where the cameras kept overheating and shutting off, one GoPro has actually gone missing, and the audio wasn't recording for uh, part of the time. I got a lot of work to do. All right, so P1 and only Captain Joe has showed up at my airfield to go flying in my ground when it's 150 degrees outside. How, how hot was it when you left? It was somewhat, I don't know, 15 degrees, which is... That's Celsius. <laughs> so what's that about? 55, 60? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. All right, so I'm moving to Germany. That's what we're going to be doing next. So um, the plan is to take the Grumman uh, four miles to the north to go get the Cirrus, and then we're going to get the Cirrus and get up as high as we have to to find some cold weather, and then we're just going to visit for a bit. So uh, let's go flying. Cool. Looking forward to it. <laughs> ah, that is beautiful. Yeah, you can fly with it open too, which is really nice. So this is uh, one of those information airports where you actually have to you have to tell everyone where you are. You know, in like uh, yeah, so you're in the downwind, you're on the base leg. Yeah. Yeah. Northwest traffic coming at 97 Juliet Bravo's departing runway 35 will be departing to the north. Northwest traffic. Uh -huh. Runway's fine. All right, full power. Three hills on the floor. Airspeed's live. Yeah. And we rotate at 50, probably the same as you do in your big planes. <laughs> Positive rate. <laughs> Gear up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. So Joe and I made what was really about a nine mile flight from Roanoke to Denton, which in the Grumman is about a two hour flight with one fuel stop, so it's pretty simple. That was pretty, pretty easy. No, uh, not too bad. Good. Denton Tower, Grumman 8, 9 or 7, Juliet Bravo. 8, 9, 7, Juliet Bravo, Denton. 8, 9, 7, Juliet Bravo, just off the Northwest Regional, inbound, full stop. I've got the numbers. Juliet Bravo, Roger, straight into uh, 3 6, report a two mile final. Straight into 3 6, two mile final, 8, 9, 7, Juliet Bravo. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's hot today. It is boiling. The wind actually wants to close that. Yeah. So we clip it open. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's cool. That's our air conditioning. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, I would have fled like 30 seconds earlier. <laughs> So we hopped in the Cirrus. The plan was we were gonna go fly around a bit, maybe do some touch and goes, and then I was gonna ask him some of the questions that I posed to you guys on my channel before our flight. It was blistering hot outside, so I packed a cooler with damp rags. We went through six bottles of water and four bottles of iced tea. It was insanely hot, but Joe was a trooper.
and I'm out here with Captain Joe, and we landed here because we saw this really weird airplane. He said he wanted to take a look at that plane because it looked goofy. What kind of plane is this? I mean, it, it, what was it called? A Carver? Carver? Yeah, but it looks like a, a little jumbo with propellers on it. <laughs> yeah. This thing's been sitting out of Gainesville Airport for the better part of eight years, as far as I, I know. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it move, but uh, it's a goofy looking plane. Yeah, I, I uh, requested for Brian to that we land here because I've heard of it, I've seen pictures of it, but I've never seen it in real life. So I'm really happy that we uh, came to a touchdown here and uh, took some pictures. <laughs> Fantastic. Something C54B, whatever. He in 40 in, oh, did, years ago. Who is this? My godfather. Your godfather has a photo of that yeah, exact plane. Of that exact plane at Liverpool Airport. And then it went, when it, come, it came over here, it was converted. And now there it is in Gainesville, Texas, rotting away on this ramp in the middle of literally nowhere. nowhere. There's nothing in this place but Captain Joe, a Cirrus, and a plane that his godfather took a picture of in Liverpool 40 years ago. <laughs> That's, wow, I'm getting goosebumps here. This is crazy. That's pretty cool, man. So we're, we're in the Cirrus. It's 197 degrees out here. And unfortunately, I didn't have the camera on. What, what were you just saying about the Cirrus? I was just saying that is, this is by far the best plane I've flown. Uh, Hang on, general aviation wise, in a very, very long time. I mean, take that, serious <laughs> haters. Well, see, what, what's wrong with Sirius? It seems like a really cool plane. It is. It is a cool plane. Yeah, it's more or less like an Airbus. No, <laughs> just uh, the real pilots in the aviation community make fun of it because of this contraption right there. Why? That's my favorite. I think this is really cool that it actually has that. It's the biggest safety benefit you can get. Why not? I'm ser I'm dead serious. I, yeah. I don't know. Just when when I started flying, if you, there's these macho pilots that are like, oh, you can't land a plane without a parachute. I'm like, I've never used it. We're going to try to get out of a spin the old fashioned way right now. <laughs> stick, stick, stick around for that video. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Okay, good. Hey, it's so hot. <laughs> Holy Moses. Not over here. If you move to, if you move to the state, this is not the state I would advise. No, not really. But everything is bigger and better in Texas. That's what Texans say. Yep. So one guy asked a question and I know the answer. He said, why Captain Joe and not First Officer Joe? That's a very, very easy answer you, uh, question to that. Uh, your very first video that you put on YouTube, you explained that. Correct. The thing was that uh, I just needed something that you know fits well and sounds easy to, and well easy to memorize. And uh, everyone knows like Captain Kirk or Captain America, and uh, I just want to come up with something similar to that. So I said Captain Joe, you know, hence the average Joe. <laughs> I thought that just fits perfectly, and uh, yeah, I got a lot of blame for it, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said I made a video just explaining why we chose the name. Yeah. Well, and here forward, I'm Captain Brian, so uh, that's just how you'll address me. It'll be fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> we have a thing called the FISDO Flight Standard District Office. And yeah. So, someone asked the question, how do you say FISDO in German? Oh my god, I would probably say... What's the German equivalent of uh, if you got in trouble? Well, I mean, you would get in trouble with uh, the Luftfahrt Bundesamt. That means... <laughs> That's, that's what I figured. That, that's more or less the FAA, to be quite honest. All right, I have a question for you. All right, I want you to figure out what our wind correction angle should be using this. Go. <laughs> okay, good. I guess you ought to find it. <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Are you joking? I'm just kidding. Man. Okay, good. When, when's the last time you saw one of these? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> 
Okay. We're testing we're testing uh, Captain Joe's piloting skills. He's currently flying the Cirrus. First time ever to fly a Cirrus? Yeah, absolutely the first time. Yeah. So it's good fun though. I really enjoy it. Alright, what's better, uh, Airbus or Cirrus? Well, I mean they have quite a similarity in terms of when it comes to like a side stick. This very much feels like a like an Airbus. Uh, but I'm already enjoying this far much more because, as I said before, it's so slow. It's just really, really nice. We're going 170. Yeah, it's still like... <laughs> that's the approach speed of the planes I fly now, so... That's the approach speed of a Cirrus, too. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. But this, this, in my opinion, is the real flying. You know, I'm really, really enjoying this because it's hands-on. Obviously, it has an autopilot. <laughs> but uh, it's just, you know, you find much more concentrated and focused on what you're doing. And... Uh, in bigger air airliners, I think you, you engage the autopilot way too early and you disengage it way too late. So I really challenge myself when I do fly the jumbo that uh, I say, all right, 15,000 feet, I want to turn it off, everything off, even the auto throttle, and then just fly it manually like a Cirrus or like a Cessna. Really? Just to not lose my manual flying skill. So That's it's really important to me. Yeah. Oh, shit, I still had that thing in my head. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it was Matt Foster who had asked you to translate uh, FISDO into German. We took care of that one. Flying and driving said, why is it not First Officer Joe instead of yeah. Captain Joe? Everyone wants to know what the German pronunciation of FISDO is. You guys are funny. Which is better, Airbus or, Gar or Grumman? <laughs> Airbus or Grumman? Abed Soda. I don't know who that is, but that's what I have to, I would have to say that, uh, yeah, the Airbus is a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> on the comfortable side. But, uh, I mean, the Grumman does the job, you know, it to get your experience job. on it. It's definitely a great plane to start with on the Grumman. All right, Alana Sperling just says, I hope you guys have fun. Yeah. My friend James Clark says he's a huge fan of your stuff. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, James. Echo Party, congrats, you deserve all your subs and attention. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get a long-haul flight assignment to Texas, and are they going to let him back after being exposed to you? <laughs> Beautiful. Ah, nice. Shit, side back, Victor, roll out to the end, left turn, hold short, only one eight. Turn, hold short, one, eight, two, five, nine, two. All right, so we just flew from Northwest Regional to Denton and the Grumman, picked up the Cirrus, took the Cirrus out. You flew mm -hmm. for a while, mm -hmm. and we landed at Gainesville because we saw this really cool airplane. Yeah. Just in case the audio didn't pick it up in the plane. What type? It was a Carver? It was a Carver, um, which is the plane based on the DC-4. Um, you can actually see that the back of the plane looks like a DC-4, and then they just chopped it off, and the whole cockpit section, and the, or the forward part of the fuselage is the Carver part, which has a swing nose door, if you want to call it, uh, which they loaded the cars with, and flew them back and forth over the English Channel. That is the actual purpose of the plane. All I just got a text from Martin <laughs> Polly. This is, I'm telling you, Martin Polly, no way you met Captain Joe as I'm sitting here. <laughs> no, what are the odds? <laughs> I posted Good. on Facebook on my thing. No Bye. way. So yes, Martin cool. Polly, I met Captain Joe. <laughs> you could be here and you guys could compete for a better German accent. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we did. I think now we're going to go back to, we're going to take the ground back to Northwest. Yep. Um, up to you if you want to shoot the DC three today or do it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it today. I want yeah, to see. I, I want to see your process anyway. <laughs> so he's gonna. There's a DC three over there that he's gonna do. So look uh, for a video on his channel uh, mm -hmm. talking about. Um, well, the premise is why do people enter aircraft from the left side? Yeah, I, I found out that actually 99 percent of the people um, board the plane from left hand side. That's how planes are built nowadays. Uh, well, so I, I asked my wife this question. I said. Why do you think people get on the airplane from the left-hand side? And she said, because in the olden days, people would carry their sword on their right side. Because <laughs> she knows horses. And that's why people mount horses from the left side. I said, that's probably the same thing. We'll figure that out. But uh, everyone on the internet is already subscribed to Captain Joe's channel. But if you happen to be the one Thanks. person who's not, uh, go over there and uh, check out his stuff. Because it's, uh, it's very good. It's very positive. I was, when I told him in the plane to... You have a very good spirit about you, and just the way you talk Thank is you. very motivating and positive, and I, I enjoy it for, the, for that reason. So, yeah, I can hear the bumps and all that. Not a mosquito. 
getting worse. Yeah. Yeah, you're sweating, but at least there's giant mosquitoes buzzing about. That's too slow. <laughs> So Joe's not super used to this heat out here. So what's the plan? You're gonna sit in your car for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in the car for a few minutes, cool down, get my hair done, and then I'll be I'll be ready. <laughs> it's hot here in Texas. I don't blame him one bit. That's it today. If you have any more questions about the boarding process or other aviation related questions, please be sure to check out other videos in my channel or ask in the Joe's trying to film this but he's lost his light. So we got a dog barking. And then now we got a plane pulling up here. He can't catch a break. And we're using my <laughs> my car car lights as light for Joe. This RV is gonna go down there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the better video is the one I'm making, man. <laughs> I said I think the better video is the one I'm making. <laughs> Poor Joe can't catch a break. It's so hot out here, especially for him. He's trying to film by the DC-3 and there's dogs barking and then planes keep flying over and now someone's shooting off fireworks at the airport. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He's human though. It's good to see that though. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.